Hey there, good morning. Here we are, another fresh start to a fresh morning. And I'm sitting again this morning, I'm standing, I'm doing my thing, and I'm just almost overwhelmed about how amazing it is, you know, that we can go to God with anything and everything. Anything. And He's waiting for us. There's, there's so many places in the Word where He says, Come to me. Come to me, those who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Bring your Put your burden upon me. My yoke is light. And, he, and He's waiting for us to go to Him, you know. And, you know, tell Him how you're feeling. It, it, it's, it's good to get it out, to get it off your chest. Tell God you're tired. Tell God, Lord, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm tired of sitting here. I'm tired of, Lord, I'm out of strength. I don't have any fight left, Father. You know, tell Him these things. And, you know, I learned after that, I learned the change that happens when you start looking differently at this. When you start shifting your mind and... And, and rather looking to start t taking action against this thing, you know, so, so it's like, do you like being much? Do you like being out of strength? Do you like having the same fight every single day of your life and it's a continuous battle that never seems to stop? If you don't, and, and, and this, is where, this is where a massive shift can come. Because as, as soon as your mind starts changing in that sort of direction, it's when you start shopping, I, I would say. Start getting curious, almost. Like, how am I going to deal with it? So now we go, now, now I go to the Lord. In, in situations, I literally, I've gone to the Lord, and I go, Lord, I don't like this. Lord, this it doesn't sit right with me. Lord, your word says that you don't have this for me. This is not the stuff that's, um, that I'm supposed to have and deal with. And my spirit is grieved, Father. I'm not feeling liquor. I don't like this, Lord. And then, then you start asking, Lord, okay, what is the counter, Father? How do we deal with this, Lord? What, is, what am I supposed to learn in this? Then what are my next steps? What are my steps to get out of this place? What are my steps to get through this? What are my steps to the victory that you have promised me? And I get reminded of some... Incredible scriptures this morning. Jeremiah 30 verse 10 and 11 says, Therefore do not fear, O my servant Jacob, says the Lord. Nor be dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save you from afar, and your seed from the land of their captivity. Jacob shall return and have rest and be quiet, and no one shall make him afraid. For I am with you, says the Lord, to save you. So the Lord is with you. He'll save you from afar. Your people. Well, your generation and stuff that comes afterwards will also be saved according to this. But th this is where he was speaking to, to Jacob at this stage. But it doesn't matter because you can apply it in your own life. And this is what God has for you. All these promises that he has made. In Isaiah 43 verse 19, it's actually so good when you do start that shift and you do start asking to I'll get through and how, how I'm going to win. I'm going to get out of this place because he says, behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is the God of the impossible here, my friend. I mean, to think of a road or rivers in the desert is beyond my comprehension. But God can do it. God can move mountains if he wants to. God, can, God flooded the earth with water and he made it rain to do it. Man, he's, it's... He raised Jesus out of the dead. And many more after him. Jesus brought back so many people. God can do anything, my friend. If he can raise people from the dead, surely he can show you and help you how to get through that thing. But you got to start asking differently. you got to start adjusting your mind. And then you got to start taking action. you got to... There's action. Remember, God directs the faith. Uh, God directs the steps. And so you got to move, you got to action. God moves with the movers, my friend. He moves with you. And then he says in Jeremiah 20 11, 29 verse 11, remember, he says, For the know, I know the plans that I think toward you. And I like the New King James Version because it says, declares the Lord. It's a declaration. Oh, man. For I know the plans I think towards you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Man, it is 
<laughs> Look at these plans. So if these are the plans that you have, why are you stuck in this place? Why do you remain stuck in this place? I know, I know you don't like being there. But this is hopefully your answer to remind you that you can change. You can change your way of thinking. You can ask questions to go, how am I going to get out of this? What am I going to do? What do I need to learn? What do I need to step? Where do I need to walk? What do I need to do? So it doesn't matter where you are, you see God in that. And I love how David says it here in Psalms, verse, uh, Psalms chapter 77, right in the beginning. He says, I cried out to God with my voice, to God with my voice, and he gave ear to me. So God listened to David. In the day of my trouble, I sought the Lord. My hand was stretched out in the night without ceasing. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. So David, see, oh man, he sought God hard in his troubles. And, and, and he was a fighting man. David was a fighting man for the Lord. Oh man. I mean, if you think when Saul... When he came to Saul's army, and Saul's like, but you're a little boy. And the first thing, David, is, but yeah, but I just beat up a bear. I just beat up a lion. So don't you worry about me. i got God on my side, man. I'm, I'm, you know, so even in the troubled times, David went back and he went, goes back to God. And he's like, Lord, I need you now. And David spoke to God before anything that he did as well. And that's a good thing that we need to learn. Is it anything? Good things, challenging things. It doesn't matter where you are, where you find yourself. You see God first there, my friend. So where am I going with this is that your whole attitude can change when you start to think of how you're going to get through your challenge. When you start seeking ways to deal with this, you, you by no means stay stuck in your place. You can't stay stuck in your place. If God is in the room, something has to break. Something has to change. If that's what your mind wants, and as soon as your mind starts adapting, adapting you start ad adapting your heart as well. Your heart like kind of catches up to your mind, you know. So if your mind is stuck in a challenging space, your heart will also be and you won't necessarily find your way. Then people can tell you as much as they want and you might not hear them. But as soon as you start getting, man, you rock hard for man. Yes, moch man, yes, we're it. I'm tired of this, Lord. I can't anymore. Help me. Let me get through this. How do I get through this, Jesus? Help me. When that starts happening, then you better get ready because then your heart's going to catch up and then everything's going to start changing. You'll feel yourself being filled with strength. You'll feel yourself getting answers. You'll feel God say, go read the Bible. You'll open up the Bible and whatever you read will stand out like a sore thumb, like a neon sign, maybe. I don't know if you guys have seen this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Then you start asking God, what am I to learn from this? How do we deal with it? Show me what I must do to succeed you, Lord. I need to get out of this place, Lord. You find examples in the Word. There are, there's actually so many more examples of God bringing people. I mean, He brought the Israelites out of Egypt. If you think of Moses, for argument's sake, he was placed in a little basket and put in a river to hopefully be saved. I didn't know if he was going to. But then God brought him out of that place. Yeah, sure, he was raised in a particular place and it was all in God's plan for him as, as, as he needs to go through all these things. But that's what he brought him out of, you know. So you don't just ask to get out of and how to get through it. You ask how. You know, once you've asked. You asked how and then you get moving. Then you get up. Then you step up. You start moving. And then you watch how God changes and starts to change your situation.